Australia as Indonesia's neighbouring country always pays attention to every social, political and economic dynamics that occur in Indonesia. This seems to be reflected in an editorial in the well-known Australian Daily, the Sydney Morning Herald with the headline, Australia must learn to live with Indonesia's volatile politics. The daily editorial also reflects some of Australia's concerns regarding issues of human rights and democracy towards the situation that is currently developing in Indonesia. I will quote and respond to the two Australian concerns about Indonesia noted in the editorial. According to the editorial, Australia is becoming restless because the Indonesian parliament has just passed a new criminal law that threatens several human rights, including a ban on sex outside of marriage. And Australia is also concerned that the Indonesian government has also released convicted terrorist Umar Paddock, one of the bomb makers in the 2002 Bali bombings, after serving less than 12 years of his 20-year sentence. This was despite Australia's request that he remain in prison. In my opinion, it is natural for these two issues to worry Australia because the prohibition on sex outside of marriage will worry Australian tourists who visit the island of Bali a lot because Australia is a liberal democratic country that adheres to free sex while Indonesia is a country with the largest Muslim majority in the world so it is also natural that apply the rules in accordance with Islamic law which prohibits free sex before marriage. Australia is obliged to respect the laws in force in Indonesia and there is no need to worry because the demands for punishment will only take effect after a police report has been received from the family. With regard to the release of convicted terrorist Umar Paddock, one of the bomb makers in the 2002 Bali bombings, after serving less than 12 years of his 20-year sentence, no country, including Australia, can intervene. Although I also understand the feelings of the family in Australia, whose members became the barbarity of the Bali bombings carried out by Umar Paddock and friends. But once again Australia is obliged to respect the law in Indonesia which frees convicts who have met the legal requirements in Indonesia to be released after serving their sentence, including convicted terrorists. If, on the other hand, there is a serious crime case, for example a brutal shooting that occurred in Australia where many Indonesians were victims and the perpetrators of the shootings were Australians where those convicted of the shootings were released after decades of imprisonment. Of course Indonesia would respect the laws in force in Australia. In neighbours there is only one law, namely mutual respect for one another and may not interfere in other people's household affairs so it is certain that an atmosphere of harmony and peace will be created.